Plug yourself into the machine. <laughs> Welcome back to Floyd's Vintage Guitars and a Happy New Year. I hope this year is a better one for us as musicians, as opposed to the last year, which was an absolute nightmare, but I'll do a video one day talking about the, the disaster that was 2020 for musicians. So today, my video is not about this beautiful guitar on my lap. My video today is about the beautiful amplifier there behind me. And as I've said before in my videos, if you've seen my previous videos, that's the only amp I use for, for my demonstrations, for my sound tests. And there's a huge reason why. It's my favorite. It is, after owning, after owning 50 top end amps in my life, I suppose, as a touring musician who's toured all over the world, um, I've played everything from Voxes, High Watts, Fenders, Marshalls, I've got, I've got another studio next door where I've got three or four Marshall heads from the 60s and 70s. Uh, the super basses are my favorites. Um, I've had Dr. Z's, I've had Boutique, and out of everything, that little 63 bandmaster behind me there is the one that I just can't get enough of. Why? Two reasons. <laughs> If I'm at a gig and my pedal board goes down and it's happened, and I know you guitarists out there, I know it's happened to you too, because it's one of those horrible things that happens at the worst of times. And nothing can ruin your gig than you having the time of your life and deadly silence. It's the worst, I know, it's, I've been there. But I've often had to just remove my, my cord, my, um, my cable from my pedal board and go straight into the amp and try and do the best as I can just going guitar into amp just to get through the gig. And if I had to do that with that bandmaster behind me, it wouldn't be an issue at all because everything I need is the guitar and the amp. And I know I keep saying that, but I truly do believe that if you get a great bass sound, and I don't mean bass guitar sound, I mean a, a great bass sound where Everything you need is in your fingertips, in your amplifier and your guitar. There's very little really you need, except maybe a delay or a distortion, just or an overdrive, just to take you over the edge into another territory. It's all there. Now, number two, why I love this amp. Okay, it's a 1963 Bandmaster, but I had it modded in the first channel, which you'll see behind me there. I, I go into this, the softer side, the quieter input, not one, but input two. So it allows me to push the O-drive a little bit more on the amp, or the volume, let me say. So I play with the volume on seven. And I had the first channel modded to the same circuit as a 59 basin, which is the most iconic 
amplifier in the world. And I now know why. The, the tone I get out of that channel is absolutely sublime. And apparently um, the, the Amtech that did it for me said there was only a few little tiny caps and stuff to change and then it was the original circuit anyway. But here's the secret. A bandmaster compared to a Super Evo or even a basement or a twin has got a tiny, re um, a tiny transformer. <laughs> I almost said something completely different there. The transformer in comparison is quite small, which means at seven, I am hitting that perfect spot of volume where it's not killing people in the audience. It's not too loud, but I'm hitting that sweet spot without any help from a pedal board. And then from there, and one day I'm going to do a video on my pedal board as well. It's massive, okay? I play bass, I do singing, uh, I do vocals, I do singing, I vocal occasionally. And everything is on my pedal board from a vocal uh, pedal system, from a ba all my bass pedals are on there, everything is on my board. So it looks like the space shuttle, which I will show you sometime. But the point is, my actual guitar pedals on here are basically three overdrive variants and an echo, and that's it. But the rest are all for everything else. And it's because I don't need much of that amp. It's all in my fingers and the amp and the guitar. So the mod I really love. And com in comparison, channel one now compared to the original Bandmaster channel is is astounding because it's got so much more depth, it's got so much more bottom end, it's got clarity, and it's also got a bit of overdrive, almost like in a marshall -y. and I know that's the kind of the cliche thing to say, it sounds a bit like a Marshall, but it really does. It's got that brown sound overdrive, not distortion, just a bit of grit when you need it most. And it's wonderful for blues, it's wonderful for country, it's wonderful for jazz. If you just turn the volume down a bit just before it starts breaking up, it's warm as you like. And for that reason, this amp is my number one. Last, last thing I want to comment on it is the speakers I use with it. Now, before I changed out the speakers, the original, excuse me, the original speakers were in there and the amp used to then distort at about four and a half. But playing with a loud drummer, I, I didn't quite have, you know, that, that, that occasion where you want to just go a bit louder just to cut through and there's nothing there. In fact, it starts disappearing. The more you turn it up, the less it cuts through. And that was happening for me. And when I replaced the original speakers with my EV 15Ls that are in there from the 90, early 1980s, that took the amp from sublime, amazing, incredible to another level. It just opened the amp up. In, in all sorts of ways. I can play bass guitar on that amp, even with a small transformer. I can play acoustic guitar, which I do all the time. Um, I, it's just there. It's a, it's a great pedal platform. It's the one. And um, saying that, um, I've got a 1965 Blackface Super Evo behind me there. Another beautiful amp. It's probably my second favorite. Got a high watt over there for the bigger, for the bigger gigs. And then next door, I've got a whole room full of black faces, marshals, like I said. And this one really does stand out for me. It really is that, what's the term, that stuck on an island and you've only got one amp. If you can find one, guys, you better buy it because I'm on the lookout for, num for a number two. I'm, I, I've been dreaming of having two of them on stage and trying to imagine what that must sound like. So guys, like I said, Happy New Year. Please subscribe to the channel. Next, I'm going to be doing a, um, a video on this very, very stunning 1982 Gibson Les Paul Custom. It's just come into my hands and it is a stunning tone machine, an absolute rock machine, which is just amazing. So that's going to be next. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a video on this guild over here, which to me is the most underrated hollow body guitar, vintage hollow, hollow body guitar you can find. To me, they beat ES335s all day long. They feel amazing and they're in, incredible to play. So please guys, subscribe and we shall see you very, very soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful 2021. Cheers.
Plug yourself into the machine Become one Become Apple's new icon DNA straight to the screen